Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Mark of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith in Graphic Online. And uh, this morning I'd like to uh, coin my message with the words, wicked spillage. Wicked spillage. In Genesis 38, there's a very interesting story about Judah and all the shenanigans that takes place around Judah. And I mean, very, very, very interesting. Now, Judah had different sons, and one of his sons was called Onan. In actual fact, Onan had a brother, and his brother died, but the brother didn't have children. So Onan, the, the, Onan's brother's wife was given to Onan in order to, to, to continue. It was it's done in, in, in Jewish custom at that time. And it was okay. Even in some of our family listings, it is done. When a man dies, his wife is handed over to a relative. And then it is a choice of the two people whether they are going to have conjugal rights to each other or what. It is it's part of our, our culture, our tradition. I don't know. Don't ask me to judge. That's just what it is. But, but, but here, here's the thing. Now, Onan took his brother's wife, and I'm sure the brother's wife might have been very beautiful. And the Bible says his brother didn't have children with that listening. And the purpose for which the brother's wife was given to Onan was for him to have children for his brother. And the Bible said that now Onan would visit the woman and they would have sex. But then at the moment where he must give seed to the woman, the Bible says he spills it on the floor. He spills the sperms on the floor. So, and then the Bible says, and God was angry with him, and God killed Onan. And I'm, I was like, what, what was the problem? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Onan wants to enjoy the benefits of the relationship. He wants to enjoy the rewards of the relationship. But he doesn't want to take responsibility for the relationship. Oh, Yes. He wants the rewards. He wants the pleasure of the relationship, but he doesn't want the responsibility that comes. He doesn't want to pay the price for that relationship. So Onan takes pleasure in, in with, the, with the woman, and then he feels it. Now it is time to be productive. Now it is time to give the woman a seed. Now it is time for the woman to also bear fruit. Now it is the, for, time for the woman also to be looked upon by other women and said, why are they? You've done well. You are a woman. That's what people say. But he denies her that right. So he's just taking part in the pleasure, but he doesn't want the rewards. He, he wants the rewards, but he doesn't want the responsibilities. Isn't it what happens? There are a lot of people who want the rewards of a relationship, but they'll never rise up to the responsibility that comes with the relationship. And the Bible says God killed him. Well, we are living in times of grace. I'm not sure God is going to kill anybody. But you pay a price for it. Definitely, you pay a price for it. Let's not just enjoy the rewards of a relationship, but let's also take up the responsibility that comes with the relationship. That is how God made it. That's, that's how God made it. And that was honor for you. I'm enjoying the, the relationship. I'm taking pleasure. I'm having pleasure. But I don't want to pay the price. How sad it is. Yes, that's what it is. And God is looking. So you know what? You have a choice to just take the rewards of the relationship and abdicate on your responsibility for the relationship. He's watching. See you later.